the Dalai Lama is in the news, y'all. I know you guys have heard about it by now. And God dang, it's real. I didn't think that it was real, but after seeing the situation and looking, listening to the details, you're kind of wondering, like, what the heck is wrong with this man? Let's get into it. The Dalai Lama invited a boy up towards the platform that he was seated on and in the video gestured to his cheek, like, uh, 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 kiss me here. After which the child kissed him before giving him a hug. The Dalai Lama asked the boy to kiss him on the lips and he stuck out his tongue. And he said, quote to the boy, and suck my tongue. The Dalai Lama can be heard saying, as the boy sticks out his own tongue and leans in, prompting laughter from the audience. The footage triggered a backlash online with social media users condemning the behavior. The National Advocacy, Advocacy Group for Victims of Clergy Abuse says that uh, they're horrified at the Dalai Lama's actions. Our primary concern is the innocent boy who was subject of this disgusting request by a revered spiritual figure. Yo, man. There's this little video right here we can show right here. This is like an interaction of where he brings the boy in for the hug. Like, oh, hug me. Peep game though here. Listen, watch. He, the boy's going to be like, uh -huh, try to back up. And the llama going to try to bring him back in. But he's too weak and fragile. His old low pan hands can't grip. Check this out. You'll try to get away from him. Look, look, oh, come closer. Oh, no, where you go? Okay, I laugh it off. <laughs> we joking together. Yeah, we joke. <laughs> come into my room. So let me tell y'all, bro. This is some sick shit. People come to the Dalai Lama for spiritual advice, for knowledge and wisdom. So those are the people that were like, yo, he's just being funny. Yeah, it's just how he is. Bro. He doesn't know any better. You can't say that this man doesn't know what he's doing. When he's supposed to be the leader of millions of people, people from this country fly to go see the Dalai Lama to get advice for their life. People are making life decisions based on the advice that he gives to people. And we're going to sit up here and say he didn't know what he was doing or he didn't know that it's not appropriate to do this to a boy. Of course he did. You know what really happened? What really happened is the Dalai Lama sitting up here Every day with the same old routine, living this false life, making it seem like he's all wise and when he retires from this every day and he retires from saying hi to the people, hello stupid people, he retires into his private quarters where he's greeted by like 15 little kids and he's like, daddy is home now, daddy is home and they, yeah rubbing his feet and other things. Bro, this fool is sick. And what happened is he's tired that that private life bled into the public. Like sometimes you can tell like he's so into this, bro. Like he's so into children and he's so into these ways and he's sick in the head because he's letting it bleed out through a microphone. That's a mic right there listening to what they're saying, by the way. Let me just move out the way just a little bit for you. Uh, let's go this way. See, see that? as a microphone so they heard the words he told the boy now suck my tongue and the boy is gonna uh. he does this shit in private and he's bored of hiding it it's bleeding into the real world he wants to tease the world see how much can i say in public to get off on this oh can i can i i'm gonna tell this little boy straight up i'm gonna freak and he's getting older bro he don't give a shit it's weird to me because People are so in awe at what he did here, right? They're so in awe, like, what the heck could the why is the Dalai Lama doing this? Like, this is this is terrible. I I get that, but it's the is what's crazy to me is the same people that are okay with y'all are the same ones that are okay with this. This is a drag show for children and families, basically for children. These are men who, born men, dressing as women with body parts, stripping and wearing provocative clothes in front of children, sexualizing children, 
trying to bring children over into the sexual realm and introducing them to sex. And look, there's babies in the back. There's babies and kids and shit. Look at this. Titties out, booties out. What's going on? But we're perfectly okay with letting the LGBTQ exploit, exploit our children, come for our children. But so long as they do it with rainbows and a smile, it's okay. So all of you guys who are upset at the Dalai Lama for what's going on, but you guys are perfectly fine with the LGBTQ attacking our children and targeting our children, freak you, you're a hypocrite. It's the same shit. Anyway. Yeah, this fool is sick. He's letting it bleed off into the real world where he's just saying shit publicly to see what he can get away with. And he's so sick that he's not hiding it a little bit. And that's the thing about getting getting off on some shit, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to, like, tease to see how far you can get away with something before you kind of get caught. And now he released a statement, you know what I'm saying? He said, um, he, uh, they said his holiness often teases people. That's their excuse in a playful way. It's a child. Stop it. Y'all capping. Y'all trash. Get the freak up out of here. You're whack. And then when you look at this tweet from the Dalai Lama, this is from the 7th, right? Whenever I go, I consider whoever I meet to be another human being like me. We all want to live a happy life. We respond to smiles. So wherever I go, I smile. I sound like an African. <laughs> but this shit sound creepy, doesn't it? Even when we don't share a language, we can communicate our own friendship by smiling. Man. If this shit don't come off as creepy, I don't know what does, bro. It's crazy, man, how a man who's this spiritual figure could say these things and do these things, right? But when you realize and you know that it's mostly these big figures, popular figures, actors, actresses, politicians, all these people who are in positions of power are into the sick shit. This is all just to normalize sex. And to normalize sex against minors. They want the children to be introduced to it at an early age so that they can F them. The overlying punchline here and the goal is they want to F our kids. They want to F our kids, y'all. Protect your children. And uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this situation. I mean... Keep it a thousand. I'm keeping it a stack. There's a whole lot of people trying to get our kids. LGBTQ is trying to get them with that drag, that drag family, uh, drag shows for children. That should be abolished from this country. And then you got Dalai Lama out here like, suck on my tongue. Put your tongue in my mouth. <laughs> Bruh, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the subscribe button. I'm Jody Joe and I'm out. Deuces.